Okay, now we're going to talk about the loin and sirloin, and those are probably the most sexy muscles in the animal, what most people are used to seeing in the stores and so forth, so uh, that's the, the most tender pieces and, and, you know, the really steak cuts, so to speak. And so we're going to start with the flank steak, and you pulled that off uh, at the bottom, that great big piece. This is basically what you wind up with, is, and a lot of you have seen this in the store. Uh, flank steak is, it's a great item that you can put on the grill and slice it thin across the grain because it is a little bit tough. It's got a little bite to it, but it's got a great, great flavor. Uh, also part of the sirloin underneath, or excuse me, on top of the flank and, and underneath the uh, loin is uh, these other little pieces that you don't see very often. Usually they're made into steak tips. This is what's called a ball tip. Uh, this is, this is out, of the, out of the sirloin portion of the, of the animal. And this is a tri-tip. Tri-tip is very popular on the West Coast, not really popular here in the East Coast. But it's a great item too. You can grill the whole thing and cut it into steaks, or you can cut it into steaks and grill each individual steak. It's a nice item. Uh, sirloin flat meat is a very popular item. Uh, not something you probably buy in the store, but most of the time you see in the store is steak tips. Most steak tips are cut out of sirloin flat meat. And there's, there's a lot of, of uh, uh, fat in between the, uh, in between the, the uh, grains of the, of the muscle, which, which as you grill it, you know, really makes it juicy and tender. And it's a great piece of meat for steak tips, probably what most steak tips that you see in the store is made out of. From that point, we move on to the, uh, the top sirloin, which uh, you typically won't see this whole piece in a store, but this is something that, that stores will buy a lot of and then, and then pull the individual muscles off. The cap, or the culotte is called, uh, is a whole muscle, can be pulled off and uh, made in, you know, take the fat off and then cut it into individual steaks. Very, very tasty. A little bit of a bite to it, but, uh, but you know, very tender. And it, it can be easily pulled apart and taken, taken off. And then you end up with, with the heart of the, of the top sirloin, which can also be cut into steaks just, you know, right down the end. Or you can pull the two muscles apart and, and make individual steaks. There's a, there's a round muscle in there that makes uh, what you could make something that looks like tenderloin steaks but has more flavor, a little bit more bite. Uh, top sirloin fillet, you might see those in the, in the store. Now we get into the, to the expensive cuts of the, of the loin, which is the tenderloin and the strip. Uh, the tenderloin is the most tender muscle in the animal. It goes right up alongside the spine. And uh, basically what you would do with this is, you know, you'd pull these other little muscles off here and then uh, cut it into uh, filet mignon steaks. You know, we pull all this uh, uh, chain and, and, and these little muscles and clean all this fat and then you end up with a totally boneless uh, filet mignon, which is tender like butter, and uh, is, is a great piece of meat. So that's the tenderloin, and unfortunately, it's not it's not very big. Uh, weighs this this piece when it's all done weighs about three and a half pounds. This is the strip loin, and this is from the from the loin side. This is this attaches to the rib uh, as it's on the animal. Uh, so this is a solid muscle on this side of it. As it gets down to the other end. It uh, breaks into a couple of muscles. So most of your center cut strip steaks are going to go three quarters of the way through this uh, strip. So you start with the full muscle side. You st start cutting steaks until this other muscle uh, starts about right here. And when you see that, then you know these steaks are a little, little bit more tough, something that you may want to you know, cut into uh, uh, stir fry strips or something like that. But, but the best steaks are out of this, out of this uh, upper two-thirds of this steak. And this would be the New York strip steak that you'd get. It also makes a great roast if you want to, you know, cut that off and, and roast the whole thing. So there they are, your loin and sirloin cuts.